Lawmakers from across the country celebrated the life of Sheila Jackson Lee in Houston today. The Congresswoman represented Houston for more than nearly 30 years and drew admiration from her Democratic and Republican colleagues for her work for civil rights. Kamala Harris and the Clintons were among the speakers honoring her today. Our Ryan Chandler was there. Well, the crowds that congregated outside this Houston church today are a testament to the legacy that this Houston giant left. Everyone from heads of state to leaders in music and culture stressing the impact that Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee left on her city and her country. Rejoice over remorse. Everybody in the audience sing with us, come on. Falling in love. As the country remembers Sheila Jackson Lee's mark on history. Brooklyn has Shirley Chisholm. Dallas has Eddie Bernice Johnson. LA has Maxine Waters. The Bay Area has Kamala Harris. But Houston, I said Houston, I said Houston has Sheila Jackson Lee. What a life. What a Across three decades in Congress, the Congresswoman, as she was known, cemented a reputation for her civil rights advocacy, establishing Juneteenth as a federal holiday and authoring the Violence Against Women Act. She made it onto the smallest list we kept in the White House. It was called the Just Say Yes list. <laughs> Honoring her past with an eye toward the future. When our first woman president takes the oath of office, I'll be thinking of Sheila wondering what up in heaven she's wearing. Kamala Harris taking lessons from Jackson Lee's life in her race to make that a reality. And to honor her memory, let us continue to fight to realize the promise of America. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. After her death, Governor Greg Abbott also honored the Congresswoman, writing on social media, quote, Cecilia and I will forever remember Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. She was a proud Texan and a tireless advocate for the people of Houston. Her legacy of public service and dedication to Texas will live on. Jackson Lee was 74 years old.